friends, how are you doing today? My name is Mary and this is Happily Ever Rush. Today I want to share with you guys what I plan on picking up in October. Um, there's a lot of exciting things going on in October, um, but this is mainly for Cozyathon, which is taking place in the first two weeks of October and then as well as Victober. So let's just hop on in. I have decided that if I were a month, I would want to be October because everyone is just, just so excited to see you. They're so ready. They break out all the cool, cozy fall stuff and they're just like so ready. People love October so much and I just love how much everyone loves October and I'm just like, it's a, it's a month that gets a lot of love. So yeah, if I were a month, I'd want to be October for sure. <laughs> but I'm excited to share what I plan on reading with you guys um, and then I hope to chat with you about what you're picking up for all the different fun readathons that have, are going on this month. So the first thing that I would like to pick up is I'd rather be reading a library of art for book lovers and this is by Genevieve de la Mar um, and it's just a really cute little book um, with some really beautiful pictures like bookish pictures in it so there's like illustrations photography um, and then there's just like essays sprinkled in um, just about the love of reading and books and if that is not cozy I don't know what is so I'm excited and it's really short and I think it'll be just a fun one to pick up this month um, there's lots of little challenges to go along with cozyathon and so I think this would be like a fun one to pick up in a coffee shop or there's like a read by candlelight challenge so maybe I'll do this one since it's pretty short Next, I have two fantasy. I don't think I'll pick up both of them, um, but there are two works by N.K. Jemisin. This is The Killing Moon, which is the first in her Dream Blood series, and then I also have The Hundred Thousand Kingdom, and oh, The Inheritance Trilogy is what this is a part of. So I don't know which one I'll pick up, um, but I was just really in the mood for some good fantasy, and I've heard wonderful things about N.K. Jemisin. Her new series, I think the fifth season is the first book, had a bunch of holds on it, but the these were both in the library when I went the other night so I was like let's pick them up um, I love that they're floppy paperbacks and I'm really excited to get to one of them so if you've read NK Jemisin and like have an opinion of where a good place to start with please let me know down in the comments because I just don't know and they both sound so good this one is about a girl whose mom kind of mysteriously dies and she's summoned to this majestic city in the sky where she finds out she's an heiress to the king um, but I don't think that this comes at um, a cheap price and there's all sorts of battling that goes on with this so there's my very rudimentary understanding of this novel and then we have the killing moon which I think I'm kind of leaning more towards reading this one I want to read the little blurb on the back because it sounds so good in the ancient city-state of Guajara, I'm not saying that right, Guajara, peace is the only law. Upon its rooftops and among the shadows of its cobbled sh streets wait the gatherers, the keepers of the peace. Their duty is to harvest the magic of the sleeping mine and use it to heal, soothe, and kill those judge corrupted. But when a conspiracy blooms within Gujari's great temples, Eru? At Eru, the most famous of the city's gatherers, must question everything he knows. Someone or something is stalking its prey, both in Gujara's al alleys and the realm of dreams. Eru must now protect the woman he was sent to kill or watch the city be devoured by war and forbidden magic. So they both sound really good. I'd love to know if you have an opinion of a place to start and I'm excited to pick one of these up this month. Next is the book I'm listening to on audio and it's the third in Marie Rutowski's The Winner's series. It's The Winner's Kiss. Um, I'm, I've listened to about two hours of this. It's okay so far. It wasn't what I was expecting, but you know, it's a pretty chunky book. So I still have eight more hours to go and we'll see how the end of this series turns out. But I, I really like the audiobooks for these. So I will finish that this month. I also picked up A Cozy Mystery, Wicked Autumn by G.M. Malay. Um, this sounds just so cozy. There's a former MI5 agent, um, becomes a vicar of this 
kind of cozy sounding town um, and then someone ends up being killed and everyone thinks it's an accident but he doesn't think so and he kind of uses his um, agent detective skills to solve the murder so these sound really cozy there's a I think eight or nine or ten in the series so far so if I like this one I'll definitely continue on but it just sounded so cozy and it was perfect that the first in the series was set in the autumn I was looking for a good fall time cozy um, novel so I know that Robin over at the Driftless Reader plans on picking this one up this month as well um, and I've heard Kate Howe also say good things about this one so I'm excited to start it next I have The Secret Diary of Hendrik Groen 83 and a fourth years old and this just sounds so so perfect I have to read you this paragraph because I mean bored of weak tea and potted geraniums exasperated by the indignities of aging Hendrik has decided to rebel on his own terms he begins writing an expose secretly recording the antics of day-to-day -day life in his retirement home where he refuses to take himself or any of his fellow inmates too seriously so this just sounds so sweet. Hendrik Groen is like a pen name for someone who's been writing this blog and now has wrote this novel um, and it says there's not one sentence here that's a lie but not every word is true so it sounds like it's very much based on real life experiences and this just sounds so sweet and so cozy I thought this was perfect for the cozy-a-thon um, and I'm excited to read this one I think it'll probably be a pretty quick and like endearing read so excited about that and then the last one I plan to pick up for Victober, and that is Far From the Maddening Crowd. And this is by Thomas Hardy. I've never read any Thomas Hardy before, um, but you know, he's considered a masterful storyteller, so I'm really excited to get into this one. This is about our main protagonist, Bathsheba Everdeen, and it sounds like she's kind of gets caught up in these affairs with these three different men, and it's just her story. And so I'm very, very excited. It sounds like it has a lot of feminist themes. Um, and just, I've never read any Hardy, so I'm excited to try it. So those are all the books that I plan on picking up this month. We'll see if I get to them all. I have a lot more out from the library, so I might interchange some things here and there. But these were all the ones that were really kind of tickling my fancy. I'm really bad at TBRs, like really bad at TBRs. So I will be impressed if I read two of these. Um, but I, I have very strong feelings towards them all right now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I would love to know what you guys are picking up this month. If you're doing cozy -a -thon, if you're doing Victober, please chat with me down in the comments or let me know if you've done videos for any of these. I'd love to check them out. Um, I'm just so excited for this month for cozy -a -thon and Victober and then Mercedes over at Mercy's Book bookish musings is having a readathon later in the month i know dewey's 24 hour readathon is happening as well as lauren from over at lauren and the books is having her cozy reading night so i'm just excited for all the reading love i can't wait to, to dive into some of these books um, and like i said i'd love to know what you're reading and i'd love to chat with you about any of these books that i mentioned or any books that you plan on picking up in october I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope that you have been having a great beginning of fall, um, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.